Hello? Hi. How can I help you incriminate me? I've got a promising lead. Your name would be cleared. And yet, you're here? I need your help getting into the Koenig der Vereine. That place is beyond my authority for now. Don't you own the place? It's a separate entity from the cabaret. Iris used to distribute the black cards. Did she leave any behind? I would have mentioned that, obviously. However, there's a drawer in Iris's old office that I couldn't open. It's locked. There could be a black card there. My office? Enough mucking about. What disgraceful method are you going to employ? Lockpicking? I've got some experience with that, but... Of course you do. Let's check around for the key before we start breaking locks. I found a little key. So, Miss Detective, got anything to show me? Got one. Give it a twist. You think I haven't tried this key before? <laughs> Take these lockpicks. I've no use for thieves' tools. Why do you have lockpicks anyway? Stay focused on what you're here for. Nobody likes a lady who doesn't mind her own business. Go on, let's see if you're any good at those. Great, I found lockpicks. Well, great. I found a list of names. No card. We've got the next best thing, though. A list of names titled the Koenig der Vereine. Must be the members list. And there's a name I know on it. Thanks for your help. I need to go see Sven. Tell Sven to see me at the cabaret. I'd like to make a peace offering of sorts. I'll give back an important item I took from him in the divorce. What item? Don't be nosy. That doesn't impress people. Right. I'll pass it on. Push the door and give it some force. The door's stuck. Push harder. What's wrong with your door? Ah, that old lock is all worn out. Or maybe someone tried getting inside. Doubt it. What brings you here? I need your help with the investigation. How? I'd like to borrow your black card. What makes you think I have one? I found a list of names, and I believe everybody on it has one. Show me the list. I have one at home. I'll bring it tomorrow. I really need it today. 
I can do that for you, but it'll take a while. In the meantime, write me an article about Antoine's treasure hunt. There have been reports of street fights breaking out over it. There was one near the hospital, and one on Utaki Street. I saw the hospital fight. I just need to visit Utaki. You do that. Oh, and, uh, Marta wants you to go see her. Tell her I'm busy. She mentioned an important item related to the divorce. She wants you to have it, as a peace offering of sorts. Oh, where should I meet her? The cabaret. I'll swing by tomorrow. Thanks. I found a crumpled card. I've got everything I need for the article. Back to the office. I should attach the crumpled playing card I found. Which photo should I use? All done. It's almost midnight. I ought to get going. almost forgot. Nartin mentioned I'd need my wallet. It's somewhere in my office.
Wait, I found a wallet. Hello? Who's there? Strange. Good evening. We're closed, ma'am. I'm here for the Koenig der Vereine. I'm sorry. I don't know what you mean. I've got a card. Let's see it. Oh. You sure about this? I am. <laughs> Consider yourself warned. Follow me. Hmm. Hmm. Good luck. Fresh meat. What do we have here? Cozy place you've got here. That's one way to describe it. I've got a few questions. Glad I brought my wallet with me. I'm sure you can do better than that. You're not here to play cards, are you? No. A man's in trouble, and I'm trying to figure out what happened. I was told I'd find answers here. Who's the man? Antoine Halter. Rings a bell? Maybe. When did you last see him? Around two weeks back. He's usually in here two or three times a week. Any idea why his behavior changed? Don't know. Maybe his massive losing streak had something to do with it. Does anyone here hold a grudge against him? It's a gambling den. What do you think? He's a shark. Wins a lot. Everyone here could have wanted him out. But he's been showering these guys in gold lately. Right. It doesn't make sense to get rid of an opponent who's on a losing streak. He used to be really good, though. Occasionally, he'd get drunk and tell me this one story. How he won some idiot's home a few years ago. I see. Would you mind if I took a look around here? We've been through this. Hmm. I should check the stock. You looking at me? Nope. Come here. I'll give you something to look at. I'm good, thanks.
Great! I found a photo of gambling men. Isn't that Antoine in that photo? I should compare it to the portrait I got from Dirk. Yep, that's him. I think I've got everything I can from this place. Hey, lady. You gonna play? Or should we just rob you? I was just leaving. I appreciate the invite, though. That's my cue to leave. Hey. Seriously, get lost. Oh, I'll get lost, all right. But first, cough up the goods. So you can gamble it away, you degenerate scum. Watch your mouth or I'll carve it up real nice for you. Drop the knife, scum. What the hell? Drop it. Get back to your nest, you damn rat. Manu! What were you doing in there? You've been spying on me? Just following an instinct. What are you talking about? That place you've just been to. What about it? If you have any sense, you'll never go there again. Why? People lose more than just pocket change there. So much more. Those animals will take you for everything you've got. Manu, I wasn't there to gamble. Let me see your black card. I don't have it. I must have dropped it when I was shuffling through my wallet. It must be around here somewhere. Great, I found a black card. Did you find it? I'd like to take a look at it. Got it here. Why'd you do that? Consider it a favor. A favor? You... Oh, rat! Go get some rest. That damned Manu. Good morning! The office is filling up. Sven must be in already. I should tell him about his black card. But first... I'd better grab something that he might accept as an apology. There's a box of cigars stashed somewhere. I found a box of cigars. I knew they'd come in handy someday. Time to see Sven. Anna, did you do this? Do what? Place a romantic gift on my desk. I'm sorry, but I don't feel that way about you. I know. That's not what I meant. The gift's a cruel prank. How so? Well, me and Sp Um... I came in later than usual, and my colleagues saw the gift on my desk. Now they might think I'm taken, or I'm cheating. Are you dating someone from the office? No. Then it's not really cheating, is it? Yes, not, but... Why would anyone want to do this to me? Maybe they're interested in you. The card says, thanks for last night. It's signed by a guy called Bruno. I don't know a Bruno. And I went straight home after work. 
Could you please figure out what's going on? All right, but I need to go see Sven first about a different matter. Thanks, Anna. You're a godsend. I hid it in the closet. You'll find it there. Is there any difference between cynicism and wisdom? Hmm. I've never thought of a cynical person as wise. Why do you ask? Forget it. Got my card. About that. I lost it. Sorry. Well, at least you're here to tell the truth. It's okay. I only used it once anyway. After that, I only ever used it as a conversation starter whenever I had guests over. I'm guessing something unusual happened on your only visit there. You could say that. We were playing poker when this scruffy-looking guy barged in. He accused Antoine of cheating. <clears throat> A fight broke out. The scruffy guy got beat up and thrown out. The kid witnessed it all. Did he bring his kid with him? Well, there was a kid with him. Hmm. Is the scruffy guy in this photo, by any chance? It's been a while. My memory's a bit foggy. But what the heck, I'll give it a try. Hmm. I'm sorry I don't see him. That's okay. Also, I've brought you some compensation for the card. You didn't have to, but thanks. So what's your next move on the case? Not sure. I need time to think. I'll go take care of something else now. Anna, don't forget to grab the scene from the closet. gift. I'll owe you a big favor for this, Anna. Take a look at Hilda's item. I should sit down. Now to put Hilda's item on the table. What clues can I get from this? It's handwritten. I could identify the author from this. I should take the card with me. Where have I seen this pattern before? This flower seems familiar. 
looks like Marta just became the prime suspect. Marta mentioned that Sven would find her at the cabaret. I can use that as an opportunity. I should go to the gallery and find a document that was handwritten by her. If it matches the note, I'll have enough evidence to confront her. Psst. Anna, any progress on the thing? I'm working on it. Thank you. Marta must have something written down in her office. It's locked. Maybe I'll find something in here. found Marta's check. This will do. Now I need to compare Bruno's handwriting with Marta's. Should probably do that in my car before I get caught snooping. Okay, let's see. Here's the first defect. Another defect. Aha! One more defect. Another defect. One more defect. The good news is we've got a match. The bad news is that I'll need to confront Marta about it. Cabaret, here I come. Hi. I came to talk to you about... Antoine, I'm not stupid, dear. Get to the point. Actually, it's about something else. Take a look at this. What are you accusing me of here, exactly? I think you're trying to sabotage a relationship. 
and it's not yours to sabotage. Oh, well, it's a shame you've got no evidence of that. So be it. It's just your word against mine. That's where you're wrong. It's Hilda's word against mine. Who do you think you'll believe? A successful, high-achieving, well-respected lady? Who volunteered to give him a generous gift to make amends? Or a useless, blabbering, cheating woman in a dead-end job? That's a pretty convincing argument. I have a proposition. I take that peace offering of yours, and I don't take action against you. Oh, let me get that for you. Careful! It's fragile! Enough. Anna, let's go. We're leaving. Where did the peace offering land? I'll take a look around. I found a peace offering. I've got it! Thanks. She kind of lost it in there. Can I trust you to keep the things you've learned about me secret? Of course. Thanks. Now I need to give someone an apology. I'll see you later. See you. I think I owe someone an apology as well. Here, I should look for clues as to where he is.
I found Manu's notes. Shrier. I know I've seen that name before. Maybe it was on the black card list. I should get to Sven before he gets rid of it. It's not on his desk. The trash bin is full. I should go through it. Trash. More trash. What's this? Sven's private business. Surely the list is here somewhere. Come on. Where is it? Some candy wrappers. Bingo! We don't. He's a bad man. The professional pretender said, I belong... Above you. He won some idiot's home a few years ago. He accused Antoine of cheating. People lose more than just pocket change there. So much more. I need to call Uli. I was about to call you about the new lead. I've solved the case. Have you? We need to find Manu. He did it? No, but he's our best chance of finding the killer. Care to explain? Let's meet up in the back street. I'll explain once we're there. All right. We should hide and wait for Manu to return. What makes you certain he'll return? I'm not certain, but we've not got any other options. Mind telling me what's going on while we wait? Okay, so... That girl, she's one of the kids Manu takes care of. Let's follow her. Stay close. Are they breaking into the bakery? There's Manu working the lock. <gasps> Police! Get him! Let me handle this. I understand it's hard to fall asleep on an empty stomach. More so for children. Let me help instead of resort- At such a late hour? I doubt it. There are food rations that are meant for the prisoners in the police station. Behind the forensics lab. Hmm. All right, we'll go get them. Uli, you okay staying here? Yeah, I'll keep them busy. Manu, meet me inside the police station. Let's sneak by, just in case. We'll be heading towards the forensics lab.
Let's look around for the food and milk rations. I found a milk crate. I found the food. I've got the milk. Let's head back. Oh. Gather up! You took him here for a reason. It's Leon, isn't it? How do you know? I saw something in the forensics lab. Put two and two together. We need your help finding him. Uncle Leon took me in after my parents died. He kept taking things out of our home, one after another. Returning home late, drunk, and empty-handed. He was gambling. Yeah, well... One night, he came back with some... Leon handed our house keys to that man. We got kicked out. We left everything behind, including my favorite toy. It was this golden puzzle that looked like a globe. I learned to lockpick on it. At the time, I didn't think lockpicking would be a skill I'd find useful. We lived on the street for a while, but... Later, Leon found out that the man had cheated his way into winning our home. He couldn't let it go and move on. He became obsessed. Leon dragged me into that gambling den. He got beat up and thrown out. That's when I cut all ties with him and decided to live on my own. Recently, Antoine was going bankrupt. So after years of not letting things go, Leon knew he either had to get his... Do you have any idea where we could find Leon? I'm not sure. We'd get up on one of the roofs nearby. No matter what the problem was, we would always get an answer up there. If Leon's not there, I don't know where else he could be. Could you show us which building you're talking about? All right, it's on the boulevard. Can you see the building from here? It's that one. Let's move. Is greed about having more yourself, or others having less? It's important to figure that out, because I'm either greedy or righteous, you know? If I'm greedy, I give into a hateful, obsessive compulsion, which is far from ideal. Whether the means were acceptable is a whole other question. You broke the rules first. I won that game. If anything, we're both at fault here. Excuse my manners, I got lost in thought. Smoke? Suit yourself. 
There must be some kind of way out to here. God damn it! What are you doing here? We know what happened, Leon. We know about Antoine and what you've done. And I don't think you've divided up Antoine's wealth. You faked the treasure hunt to fool the police. Who is she? A friend. You've got to turn yourself in. That's not happening, kiddo. I'm leaving. Mano, you can come with me and start a new life. I've got enough for both of us. I'm not going anywhere with you. Neither are you, Leon. We're not letting you through. Then I have no other choice. And resist. I grew up with my arms wrapped around this thing. I wanted Leon gone from my life, but now he's gone completely. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You mentioned that there was a way to uh, unlock the globe? Yeah. You work the two locks on either side of it at the same time. I remember the first time Leon and I managed to unlock it. Think we could try unlocking it now? Might as well. As I said, there are two locks. I'll work on the one that's engraved with an M. This side's marked L for Leon, right? Yeah, you take his side. I'll talk you through it. I never meant to gamble your life away. What to do with the money? I don't need it. I think you know someone who does. <sighs> Did you destroy it? I did. I honestly hope that's true. For the sake of your and Anna's lives. Keep her off our backs. You can trust a policeman. <laughs> 